Hey guys, my name is Ben, one of the personal trainers here at NE Campus Rec, and I'm back again with another workout video for you to do at home or anywhere in your free time. Okay guys, so I have a core workout for you today, but before we get started, we're going to start off with a little warm-up. So the first thing we're going to do is a little boxer shuffle, hopping back and forth, do this for about 20 seconds, get that heart rate going, and ready for our exercise today. So 10 seconds in, about 10 more to go. Hopping back and forth, nice and bouncy. Alright, we're going to transition now into some jumping jacks. Do these for about 20 seconds as well. Keep that heart rate elevated. About 5 more seconds of these. Alright, now we're going to move over to some Frankenstein, standing Frankenstein. So we're going to kick up, opposite arm, opposite leg. So that's those hamstrings as well, a little dynamic warm up, get the body primed for our workout today. So 20 seconds of these as well, a couple more seconds here. Next thing we're going to do is some hugs, opening and closing those arms, opening up those chest and those shoulders. About 10 more seconds here. All right, and the last thing we're gonna do is just a standing torso twist. Do this for the final 20 seconds of our warm up. About five more seconds here. Three, two, and one. That concludes our warm up. Go ahead and grab a quick drink of water and then we'll get started with the workout. Okay guys, so today's workout can be done all on the ground. If you have a mat, that'd be perfect, but if not, no big deal. So I have nine exercises for you, broken up into groups of three exercises. And then after every third exercise, we'll take a 30 second break, and then before moving on, you'll go down the whole list of nine exercises, and that'll be one set, do as many as you want. So the first thing we're gonna do in our first set is a Russian twist. So we're gonna be sitting down, our legs are gonna be up, leaning back a little bit, with um, our arms gonna be rotating back and forth, get a full rotation in. Then after that, we're gonna move into a flutter kick. So you're gonna extend those legs, you're gonna lay back, legs at your, or arms at your sides, lift those legs up about a foot off the ground, and nice and controlled, you're gonna kick each leg up, switching back and forth, hovering like this. So nice and controlled movement, for about 30 seconds as well. And then, after that, we have a bicycle crunch. So you're gonna start uh, leg extended as well, Hands behind your ears, you're going to bring your opposite knee up to the opposite elbow and you're going to go back and forth like this for about 30 seconds. After that, 30 seconds each, take a quick 30 second break, grab a quick drink of water if you need, then we'll move on to our next group of three exercises. Okay guys, after that we're ready for our next group of three exercises. The first thing is going to be a VF, so arms and legs extended out, and then we're going to crunch up all the way, bringing those arms to those toes. Nice and controlled, like that, 30 seconds. Then, after 30 seconds of that, we're gonna move into in and outs. So a similar starting position as those Russian twists, you're sitting down, leaning back. However, your heels are gonna start on the ground, or your legs are gonna be straight. And then we're gonna come in and out like this. Try to have your arms at your sides, hovering. If not, you can put them behind your hips as well for a little bit more stability, like that. Then we're gonna do a scissor kick. So similar to a flutter kick, same starting position. However, instead of moving your legs up and down, we're gonna crisscross them side to side. So crisscrossing them side to side, they're still hovering, still a nice controlled movement, switching which leg goes on top, like this. 30 seconds there. All right, great job guys. After 30 seconds of all of those, one last 30 second break, and then we're gonna move on to our final three exercises. Okay guys, after that we're ready for our next group of three exercises. The first thing is going to be a VF. So arms and legs extended out. And then we're going to crunch up all the way, bringing those arms to those toes. Nice and controlled. Like that, 30 seconds. Then, after 30 seconds of that, we're going to move into in and outs. So a similar starting position as those Russian twists. You're sitting down, leaning back. However, your heels are going to start on the ground, or your legs are going to be straight. And then we're going to come in and out like this. Try to have your arms at your sides, 
hovering. If not, you can put them behind your hips as well for a little bit more stability, like that. Then we're gonna do a scissor kick. So similar to a flutter kick, same starting position. However, instead of moving your legs up and down, we're gonna crisscross them side to side. So crisscross them side to side. They're still hovering. Still a nice controlled movement. Switching which leg goes on top. Like this. 30 seconds there. All right, great job guys. After 30 seconds of all of those, one last 30 second break, and then we're gonna move on to our final three exercises. All right, great job guys. We're almost done with this set. We have three more exercises to do. The first one is gonna be a Superman. So you're gonna be on your stomach, on the mat or on the floor, wherever you are. Arms and legs are gonna be extended, and you're gonna lift the arms and legs up, hold it for about a second, then come back down. This is gonna target our lower back muscle, which is a vital part of our core. So 30 seconds of these. Then after that, you're gonna come into a plank position. So uh, hands underneath those shoulders, we're gonna do some mountain climbers. You're gonna be driving those knees into the chest. Feel free to get a little rotation in if you'd like. This little two top, do it one leg at a time, bring that knee into that chest as well. Like that. Our final exercise today is going to be a Spider-Man push-up. So in that push-up position, straight line from our back down to our shoulder, or shoulders down to our legs. We're gonna do a push-up and bring our leg, our knee out wide towards our elbow, like this. This is a little too tough, you can hold that plank position and bring those legs, or bring those knees wide in the same way, just eliminating that push-up. All right, great job guys, 30 seconds for everything. After that, we'll cool down. Okay guys, so feel free to repeat that, that whole circuit as many times as you'd like to. Once you're done, we'll go ahead and get a nice cool down. So the first thing we're gonna do is a cobra stretch. So you're gonna start on your stomach, hands right underneath your shoulders, you're gonna push up, open up that upper body, the front part of your upper body, feel that stretch in those abs. Hold this for about 15 to 30 seconds. Then we're gonna move into a child's pose. So your knees are gonna be wide, your heels are gonna be together. You're gonna sit back on those heels and extend your arms forward. Again, hold this for about 15 to 30 seconds. After that, we come into a seated position. We'll do a little bit of a stretch of our shoulders. So one arm come, comes across the chest. You don't want to be holding right on the elbow, so either um, before or right after or right before it, not right on that joint. Feeling this in the shoulder, 15 to 30 seconds, then switching. Like that. Last thing we're going to do, last couple things, you're going to lock your hands together, push them out away from you, round out those shoulders. Really extend out as far as you can go with those hands. And then our last one, you're gonna go behind you, out away from you, open up that chest, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Same thing, 15 to 30 seconds on this stretch. Okay, go ahead and release that. And then that's the end of the workout and cool down portion of the exercises today. All right, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the workout. Like I said, repeat that circuit as many times as you'd like. Uh, please check out our other workout videos that we're posting on Instagram, YouTube, even Facebook. Thank you very much. Have a good rest of your day.